So the main important thing, I really, I'm choosing a relatively basic problem because um, what you guys will see at the end is actually you can solve this by not actually following the method that I'm doing. But um, I wanted to show you guys a basic problem so you can at least cover, you know, the cover the process. So again, whenever I'm given a point, guys, that's my x and my y coordinates. I'm giving my covertices, which I'm going to want to graph. So my covertices are at 0, negative 1, and at 6, negative 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Based on this information alone, I can identify my center, which is going to be 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So my center, let's figure this out, is at 1, 2, 3, comma, negative 1, right? And that's h and k. Then I can determine the distance from the center to my covertice, which is going to be my b, which is equal to 1, 2, 3, right? So just off of the information alone, I'm able to find all this, I'm able to find all this out. Now, I look at my equation, and my equation is definitely going to be a vertical major axis since my covertices are horizontal. So I'll have x minus h squared over uh, b, 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 b squared, right? b squared plus y minus k squared over a squared equals 1. And the only thing I don't know that I need is a. So if I plug in everything, so if I'll plug in everything over here, so my x is going to be 3 minus my h, which is 3, squared all over b squared plus y, which is 5, minus k, minus a negative 1. Make sure you're being careful with your parentheses. Over a squared equals 1. Well, 3 minus 3, guys, is 0. 0 squared is 0. 0 divided by b squared is 0. So 5 minus a negative 1. So 5 minus a negative 1, same thing as 6. 6 squared is 36 over a squared equals 1. So just multiply a squared on both sides, guys. You get a is equal to, or I'll just say a squared is equal to 36. So now I can just plug in the information into my point, into my graph, x minus 3 squared plus y minus 5 squared all over, um, 3 squared is 9, over 36 equals 1. Now the reason why I gave you guys an easy problem is, again, I wanted you to follow this process. And, but the reason why this one's relatively simple, because look at where my point is. One, two, three. Where's actually my point? What actually is the name of my point? It's actually vertice, right? So if I want to set a vertice, you guys would be like, oh, it's already got there, right? But again, I could change this problem up. I could give you like a point over here, right? I could say, hey, the problem has to go through the point 1, 4. The math isn't necessarily always going to be as nice, but if you follow the same process, you'll still get a value for A and B, OK? So I just want to give you guys the one where the math is kind of nice, um, and at least to follow that process. All right, well, guys, guess what? Um, Done for the year. Yeah, it's.